Today we're going to look closer at the PLC IO addressing scheme that we've created for our UAK1000 series kiosk. A very capable system which has in it a Siemens PLC with enough IO that we believe it'll be a very good starting point for your process or automation needs. So without further ado, let's take a look at the PLC programming through the Siemens software which is also part of our kiosk. When you launch into the Windows software you'll find an icon right in the middle of the screen called TIA Portal version 16. This is the Siemens programming software for the REST 7 1200 series. Once launched you'll see the wake up screen which is what they call their portal view into their process. It gives you a couple features, but of course right at the top of the list is to open an existing project which has already been programmed and downloaded to the PLC herein. I'm going to double click on it to launch the program that's here. And although Siemens has their own convention for working with the software, we found the most convenient is to go right to the bottom item. It's called Open the Project View and look at what we've developed for you. This is where the real work of programming a Siemens PLC happens. On the left side, a navigation area to allow you to go through all the features of your PLC or perhaps a SCADA system. In the middle is the workspace. On the right side, uh, where other tasks can be uh, used and developed. But for now, let's focus on the PLC. By opening up its folder, there are a lot of features that are going to come about but right at the first of the list is the device configuration. This is where we decided to emulate what you see here on the screen as part of our IO uh, tag addressing. So when you see slot 1, this is where the PLC is, it itself exists. And as soon as we've highlighted it, its features show up down below in an area called the properties and I focused on a tab called the IO tags. The CPU has some internal tags which we've already enabled for you, what we call system flags. They are clock bits that could be used in your programming or an always on bit or an always off bit. But also other tags come up through the view of this thing. Your PLC has some analog inputs and some analog outputs right on the main CPU. So, slot 1 has an analog input 0 and an analog input 1 that is available for you to use in your programming. Also, there are 14 discrete inputs. So, in the naming of it, we called it a slot 1 input, I for input. And since Siemens uses addressing in groups of 8 or a byte oriented addressing scheme, we followed that pattern with our input. A group bit 0 through bit 7. Then you'll follow into a B group bit 0 to 5 shows up here because out of the 14 inputs only 6 are found on that CPU. Some of the inputs have been pre-wired in our system. For instance in this B group uh, there is an e-stop fault in other words, somebody's hit the e-stop switch, dropped out the safety relay, and of course you'll know about it uh, in your programming if you use that particular input. Also on the main CPU though are discrete outputs. There's a number of them, uh, 10 of them in this fashion. Uh, so we have 8 in a group A outputs and then a B group. So it will be designated as slot 1. This PLC CPU there. Q is Siemens acronym for outputs. Group A with bit 0 to 7 and group B which in this case because of only 10 outputs has 0 and 1. Again we've pre-wired certain of these outputs on the main CPU to an onboard stack light. So if you ever need the yellow, green, or red light to be turned on you just turn on the appropriate output. There is also a horn on the stack light to enunciate any problems you might have in the machine operation. You can also use 
an output to reset the safety relay should an e-stop condition have occurred we force it to be reset manually through your program that would give us a higher uh, SIL rating uh, by doing that and also we keep one output as for a cooling fan so that uh, if you gauge temperature of the cabinet any high temperature we could turn on the fan once temperature is safe again you could turn the fan back off we followed suit to the modules that are in slot 2 and 3 those are both a combination module of discrete inputs and discrete outputs in one card so in slot 2 you'll find 16 inputs so I in the designation is incorporated with group A bit 0 to 7 through the group B bit 0 to 7 any of those discrete inputs are available for use um, part of our software we wanted to show off and demonstrate an uh, OEE feature so we've actually wired up for demonstration a good proc switch and a bad proc switch so that you could see some numbers changing as far as quality of the product that you're making but that's just for us uh, for our demonstration of course you could be changing them for anything that you see necessary the same module though has outputs so in slot 2 Q is the acronym for an output with a group A bit 0 to A bit 7 a group B with bit 0 to bit 7 16 outputs on that module slot 3 same idea however although the um, internal addressing changes we use the tag name that tells you exactly where the wire is going for any particular input in slot 3 or any particular output in slot 3 so this we hope will be the way that you'll be able to troubleshoot our system faster just by looking at the wire addressing that we've done on the terminal blocks that are in our system we want you to incorporate the comment area to tell us where you'd like to wire it on your system comments are a wide verbal area that you can use to describe uh, what you're wiring maybe start push buttons stop push buttons high level limit switches low level limit switches whatever you choose to wire as a discrete input and the same idea on the discrete outputs so here is another 16 discrete outputs that could be used uh, in our system All right slot 4 analog inputs and analog outputs on the same module so there are four analog inputs we've given you an address of us s4 ai for analog input channel 0 to channel 3 a slot 4 analog output a q acronym with two channels a 0 and 1 for the two analog outputs that are on that module slot 5 it's almost the same concept however the acronyms change accordingly slot 5 analog input 0 to slot 3 analog output 0 and 1 so there you have an idea of the addressing scheme the tag naming convention that we've used we'd like to see you incorporated in your programming um, we're going to talk about that in the future but some of the other things we've done for you we've created some watch tables so in troubleshooting you should be able to pick any of the IO in the PLC or slot 1 any of the IO in slot 2 3 or 4 or 5 and be able to see what's going on with that IO let me just pick here something about slot 2 um, with its discrete inputs and outputs and we'll move our little dividing line to our property so that you can see all the outputs in the Siemens software they use the uh, icon that looks like a set of glasses with a green arrow next to it to allow you to go right online with the system to see the status of the inputs the status of the outputs and if uh, our programming is in play 
and we've allowed for the uh, PLC to do uh, its own maintenance right from here you should be able to modify a particular output to a 1 and see an output turn true or right click modify it back to a 0 so immediately you have some ability to test our outputs using the Siemens software but we actually have a better idea with the SCADA software that's also part of your kiosk if you put it into the mode where the SCADA system is in control then it could very easily from an operator screen uh, change the status of any of the outputs and likewise see, show you the status of any of the inputs so we hope that you get the idea of how the slot addressing works in our system and the tagging accordingly uh, we hope this will let you uh, incorporate the IO that we've already put together for you in a system that you will hope will help you in your process control or your machine control. We thank you for your attention. We hope you've enjoyed this time with us and we hope to talk to you more about PLC programming in a future uh, training session on the UAK 1000 series.